What's up guys, so I live in Australia and today is hot, like way too hot. It's so hot that I'm not wearing any pants! Or am I? Uh, anyway, it's really hot. So, I decided to make experiments with water because, well, first of all, it's hot and water is refreshing. And second of all, well, why not? So after trying to act like a magician, I thought it would be nice to play the mad scientist. Without further ado, here's five amazing liquid science experiments that you can do at home. I hope you'll enjoy. Number one, the pepper repulsion. What do you have to do for this amazing experiment, you wonder? Right? Right? No? So what you'll need is a soup plate. Why a soup plate, you'll ask? Well, because obvious reasons. So yeah, you need a soup plate, water and pepper. Okay, so pull the water into the plate. Be super extra careful with this step. I mean, you're playing with water. That's extremely dangerous. Then put the pepper. And voila! <clears throat> the soap. So put some soap on the tip of your finger like that. And boom! So what happens? Well, the pepper floats on top of the water because of the water surface tension. Water has a really high surface tension compared to other liquids, meaning that its molecules are very strongly attracted to each other. When you put the soap in, the tension gets ruptured. The top molecules spread out, bringing the pepper to the edges. Boom! Science! Number two, the leak-proof plastic bag. For this experiment, you need a plastic bag, pencils, and water. Why water? Because that's a liquid science experiment. What are you expecting to use? Pepper? So first step, you open the bag. Second step, you fill it with water. Then you seal the bag, you hold it this way, and you start killing it. So this is for the girl who rejected me yesterday. This is for the lecturer who gave me a bad grade. This is for Australia because it's way too hot today. And this is for nothing. And here it is, your leak-proof bag. That's like, that's, that's magic. You can then go remove the pencils from the bag and you'll see that something magic will happen. Just go, go do it, you'll thank me later. The science behind this experiment is that the bag is made out of polymers, making it super stretch. When the pencil pokes through the bag, the stretchy plastic hugs the pencil, making a waterproof seal. Number three, the upside down glass of water. I love this experiment because that's the first magic trick I ever learned. Although it's not a magic trick. Are you ready? First you need a glass like that, then you put some bandage over it, like that. You fill the glass with water, you put it upside down on your hand, et voila! What kind of magic is that? What happens is that when you put the glass on your hand, you indirectly create some small layers of water in between the holes of the bandage. This layer is strong enough to trap the water in the glass until... Number four, the hot and cold water experiment. So for that experiment you need... Yeah! Hot and cold water! Two similar glasses, a card, and some food coloring. Why the food coloring? Well, because if you do it without... So cool. The experiment might lack interest. So pour the hot water in one glass and color it red. Why red? Because that's the color of the heat. Then pull the cold water into the other glass and color it green. Why green? Because I have no blue. Put the card on top of the hot water glass. Reverse it. If just like me you're unable to do it by yourself, just ask for help. And then... FUSION! Or not. The hot and cold waters have different densities. The hot is a little less dense, making it to rise, when the cold uh, sit at the bottom. In fact, if you decide to do this experiment but put the cold on top, well, the good news is that the fusion will happen. The bad news is that you will probably fail to impress anyone. Finally, number five, the raining blood. For that, you will need, well, you know, water and food coloring. What did you expect? Oil, a fork, and a soup plate. And finally, a glass or a jar. Firstly, put the oil and the food dye together in the soup plate. Mix everything with your dingle hopper. Then fill the jar of water with the mixture. 
Wait a couple seconds and... BOOM! SCIENCE! So, what's happening? Well, if you wait for a while, the food dye which is heavier than the oil starts separating and falling down like if it was raining blood. And this is the end of 5 amazing liquid science experiments. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to put a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you've not. I will see you in my next video and in the meantime, don't forget to smile and bye-bye! Really hot today. I think I'm going to the pool.